Boeing recently unveiled a newly painted Singapore Airlines 787-10 Dreamliner as one of the company's recent advancements to full-scale production of its newest aircraft. Photos from October show the Twin Isle jet after a visit to the North Charleston plant's new paint facility. The plane is one of three Dash 10s that have been built so far in South Carolina. The aircraft continues to undergo system checks, fueling, and engine tests. 2017 has been a busy year for the Boeing plant, with the plane's rollout ceremony in February featuring President Donald Trump and Boeing CEO and President Dennis Muhlenberg. The name says it all, Dreamliner, great name. Our country is all about making dreams come true. Weeks later, in March, the plane took its inaugural flight in front of hundreds of plant workers. Since the Dreamliner Dash 10 and the Dash 9 variant are about 95% the same, first flight of the plane occurred five weeks earlier than planned, according to the company. The main difference, however, is the Dash 10 is 18 feet longer, which helps it accommodate 330 passengers. And earlier this month, SCETV and other media outlets got a first look inside one of the test planes. The North Charleston facility works on all three models of the Dreamliner, but the Dash 10 line will be the only one completely assembled there. The production ramp up of the Dash 10 will also coincide with a favorable environment in the global aircraft market, according to Boeing's CEO and President Dennis Muhlenberg. Speaking at the Morgan Stanley Laguna conference in September, Muhlenberg noted that many airline fleets will be replacing their aging wide body aircraft, which will help fuel demand for Dreamliners. Much of that replacement demand will also be satisfied with 787s. And uh, the 787-10, now just coming on online, uh, that uh, flight test program is going exceptionally well. And as that gets into the fleets, we think that adds a tremendous amount of value for our airline customers and will only accelerate the appetite for more orders. So far, 177 orders have been placed for the Dash 10 variant. 30 of those are from Etihad Airways, the United Arab Emirates-based airline, which like other airlines from the UAE, like Emirates, Fly Dubai, and Presidential Flight, are huge Boeing customers. The region is such a large customer for Boeing that the UAE ambassador recently toured the Boeing facility and the Dash 10 aircraft. That airplane will be the latest of more than 500 Boeing airplanes purchased by UAE Airlines. Repeat that again, 500 airplanes. Boeing forecasts that the Middle East will require some 3,300 new airplanes through 2035 worth an estimated $770 billion. I mean, they are, they are our biggest customer on the 777, they're our biggest customer on the 787, and it's, it's immense. I mean, the fact that they've ordered uh, 30 787-10s that will be just made here in Charleston, um, both the mid-bodies and the aft sections, uh, and all final assembly and delivery will be done out of here, that's a huge thing for us. Half of each Dreamliner is constructed out of composite materials. Those materials, like carbon fiber, are stronger and lighter than metals and help increase fuel economy. The reduced weight also allows the cabin to be pressurized to a lower altitude, adding to passenger comfort and offsetting many negative effects of long flights. Workers won't start producing the Dash 10 until testing is completed in the coming months. However, fabrication, assembly, and installation of systems for the rear section of other Dreamliners that is then joined with the mid-body fuel sludge section and some final assembly work continues. But production of the Dash 10 will begin soon, and deliveries will start rolling out of the final assembly building beginning in the first half of 2018. The first aircraft will head to the Dash 10's launch partner, Singapore Airlines. The airline has a firm order for 30 aircraft and the intent to purchase 19 more.